Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Breeze, Breezeway Productions' The Breeze, where we continue our coverage of this year's Brooklyn Film Festival, and we're excited to bring you the filmmaker and star of the opening night film, American Desert. Please welcome Adrian Bartol and Will Brent. How are you, gentlemen? Good, Good man. How are you? Not He's bad, right. not bad. Uh, yeah, looking forward to hearing about American Desert. So uh, let's talk about the film. Uh, what's, what's it about? Uh, it's a returned combat veteran that comes back to the Great Recession and falls into this vortex of drug abuse, toxic relationship, and he ultimately has to find redemption in the vastness of the American desert, basically. Okay. Uh, and so we're dealing with a little bit of PTSD coming back from war. Um, how was your experience working with that, Will, when, when you're asked to, to portray PTSD for, for this film? Um, it was uh, it was a challenging one, and it, the challenge is what attracted me to doing this. Uh, my my dad was in the military, and I have quite a few friends that were in the military. So I was acutely aware that I have absolutely no idea what it's like to go into combat, and there's there's no way to really uh, to really do that as a research process as an actor. So <laughs> I just threw myself into an immense amount of research, anything I could get my hands on from youtube helmet cam footage on repeat with headphones on as loud as i could get it for you know months and months on end to uh, a lot of reading of memoirs and then i was also lucky enough to talk with some vets um, who shared their experiences with me and everyone processes those experiences differently um, but i'm incredibly grateful to those guys that shared that shared those experiences with me because i don't think that coloring mats uh, experience as a character would have really been possible without without being able to talk with them. So a big thank you to those guys who who shared who shared with me because that was that was the, an integral part of preparing this character and trying to absorb that uh, as I you know you put it into the work. So sure, sure. Well, um, you're doing the research that you can by by being with people that are involved with that uh, mental illness or you know suffering from PTSD. So that would obviously show on the screen. Um, so Adrian, uh, how were you brought on to this project to direct, and um, how, what was your experience like while you were creating this film? Uh, well, actually, Will and I are longtime friends, um, and I just was always drawn by the subject matter. Uh, I wrote and directed the script. Uh, Will helped uh, with the story. Um, I grew up in San Diego and when I was a kid, I, you know, I talked to a lot of like homeless people because, you know, I was one of those curious kids. I'm shocked my mom let me, but, you know, <laughs> she's yeah. a very wonderful woman <laughs> that always inspires curiosity. And I found that a lot of the, the homeless people were actually veterans. Uh, at that time, they were mostly from the Vietnam War. And they had absolutely no visible other psychological issues other than this this trauma from from warfare you know perfectly functional people they didn't have like schizophrenia they you know knew perfectly well where they were what they were doing you know and i was just very curious about that subject matter also in los angeles when i moved there i made a lot of friends some of which had just come back from from war like afghanistan and iraq conflict who've been in the military and they had this interesting energy that was very, that I thought would be very interesting to explore in a film. So that's, that's what kind of drew me to it. And Will is a very, very good friend of mine and also an incredibly talented actor and one of the most perseverant people that I know. I use, you know, an, an athlete when he was younger and he just knows how to take a project to the finish line. And I couldn't have thought of a better person to portray Matt Benning than, than Will Brandt. There you go. Will, those are strong words of, of praise for your performance in this film. So uh, that's wonderful to hear such, such glowing words from you. Um, filming in the desert, uh, how was that for, for you? Was it just extremely hot? Were there very long days? How did you uh, function while you were working out there during, with those uh, you know, external climates and, and other challenges? Um, I mean, as far as acting goes, it's a blessing because you sometimes you don't have to act because it was extremely hot, yeah. extremely cold, um, and, and, and sometimes very long. And some of these days, like when we shot the roaming stuff, it was a lot of fun because we were out there together. Um, and we, we didn't have these huge, you know, moving crazy sets that was just the beautiful expanse of the desert to explore. And as an actor, that's such a treat. Because uh, you have your environment to react to, and then whatever you're 
whatever you're working on as well. Uh, and so those days were some of the most some of the most fun days that we had. Although yes, the elements can be uh, can be challenging, and but at the same time they just they lend such uh, such gifts to you. Whether it's because you're incredibly dirty and hot and grimy and all those things are, are you know freezing because the wind's whipping at 45 miles an hour and it's night and two in the morning and you're shooting it, but it, it's fun. I mean, that's what, that's what we do. That's what we do. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, it was it was pretty great. Did you have some heaters available at night, or you just took that cold <laughs> like a champ? <laughs> I, I, it gets cold out there. It does. Oh, Really cool. Uh, I mean, just to give you an idea, one time we had to take that dirt bike that's in the movie. I was riding in the back with like backpack with a camera and like, you know, because we want to, I, I wanted to, I was like, well, let's get a shot over there. And it's like, well, the only way you can get there is with dirt bikes. So like, let's go. So we go there. Nightfall comes. We try to turn on the, the dirt bike. Guess what? Not working. Doesn't work. Yeah, <laughs> totally did. Dirt bike from the 80s. We're like, now what? So here it is, middle of the night. We just have to push that thing back like one or two miles back to the car. So, I mean, those are the type of experiences we had. Incredibly fun. You know, you know, one of the most wonderful times of my life, for sure. So there's some blood, sweat, and tears that went into this film to make it a reality, obviously. Very much so. Very, very grueling. But then, hey, you came out on top, and it was the opening night film for, for Brooklyn Film Fest. And uh, I've heard that things were fantastic for your opening uh, re opening carpet and experience with, uh, with Brooklyn. Um, in closing, is there anything you'd like to say to the Brooklyn Film Festival organization for selecting your film as uh, opening night film? Uh, massive, massive thank you to everyone at the Brooklyn Film Festival for having us there. I mean, coming out of a pandemic and being selected as the opening night film, being able to screen with a live audience and then talk with people afterwards um, and their takeaways and things like that. I mean, it was really cool. Just a big thank you to them. And they put together an amazing festival. Right yeah, when we heard that we were selected for the Brooklyn Film Festival, not only that for their opening night presentation, Will and I were just unimaginably elated because the Brooklyn Film Festival is one of the few festivals left that is truly deeply committed to true independent filmmaking. You know, the idea that it's really only what's what's in the film that's important. It doesn't matter like what studio financed that what the top agent called in to make sure it got into the festival. They don't care about any of that stuff. They only care, is this a good movie or is this a bad movie? Yeah. And it was just such an honor to be a part of that. And, uh, and then to, on top of it, her hear that, you know, it's, it was going to be one of the first in-person screenings after the pandemic, we were just unbelievably elated. We were going to have that moment where the lights go down and the credits start rolling. And that's really what we had been craving since the beginning. So I we were incredibly that. grateful, incredibly grateful to, to the whole team there for just keeping this beautiful festival alive that's you know that's going on for like almost more than 20 years now yeah i miss that feeling so much of seeing the lights go down and the music starting and the audience reacting and settling in it's just we're right there we're back we can go to movie theaters and enjoy ourselves and have some popcorn and the cold beverage and and watch movies which is fantastic uh we spoke with the film festival director the other day who said that the film festival or uh basically gives a spotlight to up-and-coming uh actors and filmmakers that uh are on their first second or third feature film and that they continue to grow and that there's buzz going on about them so congratulations to that to be included into this uh experience with broken film festival and we hope that our audiences check out american desert um adrian bartol thank you so much and will brandt as well for joining me today on the thank breeze you. hope to showcase your film to our audiences absolutely thanks so much alex thanks alex appreciate it man